Miami Heat is currently experiencing a rather inconsistent form, primarily due to injuries and the absence of key players. Over the last five games, they have won three times, holding a record of 22-16 and occupying the sixth position in the Eastern Conference. Jimmy Butler has missed the last six games due to a foot injury, but the remaining team members have found a way to secure three victories alongside three losses. Tyler Harrow, recovering from an injury, has been in excellent form, averaging 22.4 points, but he also missed the last game due to shoulder issues. Bam Adebayo stands out as a significant figure on both ends of the court with averages of 22.2 points and 10.4 rebounds. The rest of the team is seeking opportunities, and it's worth mentioning that the young Nikola Jovic is performing well. While Duncan Robinson is still finding his recognizable form in three-point shooting, Miami Heat emphasizes solid defensive play, relying on five-on-five -five positional attacks with efficient ball movement to find the best possible solutions and open shooters capable of taking uncontested shots against the opponent. Additionally, if they aim for win, they'll need to stop the transition game with the Charlotte Hornets. The Charlotte Hornets are going through one of the most significant performance crises in recent years. In the last 15 games, they have only secured one win, which is undoubtedly a cause for concern for the team. They currently hold a record of 8-28, positioning them as one of the two worst teams in the Eastern Conference. A significant positive for this upcoming game is the return of Lamimilo Ball to the court after a long hiatus, serving as the mainstay of the team. Despite playing only 16 games this season, his averages of 25 points, 8 assists, and 5 rebounds speak volumes about his contributions. Terry Rozier is also performing exceptionally well as a scorer and creator, averaging 24 points and 7 assists per game. Michael Bridge is important to the team with a 20-point average. It seems that the rest of the team needs to contribute more for improvements in both gameplay and results. The Charlotte Hornets are an offensively potent team, a well-known fact, but their biggest challenge lies in defense. It often happens that key players find themselves on the bench after three quarters due to the opponent's insurmountable lead. They need to be up to the task for the entire 48 minutes and try to impose their rhythm from the very beginning to compete in the decisive quarter. Miami Heat has won eight out of the last 10 matchups against the Charlotte Hornets. It's noteworthy that two of these games went into overtime, with Miami emerging victorious on both occasions. The Heat is currently on a four-game winning streak against the Hornets. Absences and injuries, Drew Smith will definitely not be playing for the Miami Heat, and his season is over due to injury. Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, and Kyle Lowry are questionable for the game. Mark Williams will not be participating for the Charlotte Hornets, and several other players are questionable, with their status to be determined just before the game. APJ Washington, Gordon Hayward, Cody Martin, Brandon Miller, Frank Nilakina. Miami Heat is grappling with numerous injury issues, and considering that the trio of Lowry, Harrow, and Butler won't be playing, it's evident how significant a blow this is for the rest of the team. On the other hand, the Charlotte Hornets are also facing challenges, but the return of Lamella Ball promises a much more competitive edge. Despite being in a four-game losing streak and having won only once in the last 15 games, we believe that they will be motivated to compete against the reigning NBA vice champions and won't be defeated by a double-digit margin. Our prediction is Charlotte Hornets plus 9-5.